Welcome back, Tectonians, to another Pegixi video. In this Pegixi video, we're going to talk about the new way to buy Pegas, to see the ROI on the Pegas you buy, and to see what Pegas you should be buying in order to progress to the next phase of the game. Now, like with every video I start, I do private one-on-one -on -one consultations where I go over helping you buying Pegas, ROI, what does each stat of Pega means? What is the speed, strength, lightning, wind, water, fire? Uh, why is there like, let's say 35 combined stats, 40 combined stats? When percentages, breeds, should you breed? How does a breeding farm work? Career and all of that. I usually charge for the consultations, but I've been doing them for free to help a lot of new people jump into the game. So if you want, uh, to hire me or to tip me or for me to even do the consultation with you for free. My name, the Discord name is down in the description. Go ahead and add me on Discord. I accept invites almost instantly. All right, so let's get started. Let's talk about what's happening in Pegaxi right now as an overall market, as an overall game. What's going on with this? Let's see, this is at I have it written down at 0 0.004, PGX is at 0 0.17. All right, so as a new investor, beginner to the game, you're thinking to yourself, should you jump into the game? Well, the answer is hell yes. The game is very profitable. The return investment is amazing and you just gotta be patient. Now, if you are in Discord chat, get at it. A bunch of FUD, a bunch of rumors, a bunch of negativity happening with the game. The game is brand new. The game is a baby. The game is in beta four months out, and it's already doing amazing. The team behind it is amazing. Corey could sit on Twitter for three hours talking about the game. Get in the game. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right? And like always, this is not a financial advice. This is my opinion. If you think otherwise, you don't even have to leave a comment. Move on to another YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. So you come in, you got your money funded. And if you watch my other videos, I actually show you how to fund the money into the YouTube. I mean, into the Pegaxi. All right, so you got your USDT, right? Now what? Well, now we go to the marketplace and you got this whole marketplace going on, right? There's a couple things you could do. Bloodline, all, Haas, Compona, Clint, Zen, doesn't matter, keep it at all. Status, can race or can breed. I like to click can race. That means the pig that I'm gonna be buying is able to race. Now, if you don't mind waiting, let's say like nine days to not be able to race, but you find the right pig for yourself, great. You know, nine days times about 300 average vis is what, $13? You know, 13 bucks is not that big of a deal. Now, back then when this was at 25 cents, that was huge money. Now, whatever, you, you could manage. But anyway, I like to click can race, okay? So now what are we looking at? There's a billion Pegas here. Well, if you don't care about breeding, we're gonna jump into, we're gonna look at the stats. Now, Corey himself said the game is changing dramatically, completely, just, Anything we're doing now, we're gonna forget about it, move on to the next part. Now, what he means by that is stats. Stats are gonna matter. You do want really good stats, okay? But with that stats, you do want a win percentage, you know, a very solid win percentage with around, for example, let's say 600 races. That way, that win percentage is not gonna be going crazy, not gonna go, you know, one win is gonna boost to 26%. Loss is going to bring it to 19. You want a solid career, solid wins. You look at a racing history. We'll look through like three days. We're going to plug in the numbers and we're going to figure out how much of this the horse is earning. Now, why do I say the stats matter? Okay, stats matter a lot. Well, that's because if we go to the roadmap, okay, we are about here. We just, they did notification feature, done. Next is going to be probably sale food. And what they're talking about is this rollout skill based game. And when rollout skill based game comes out, that means stats will matter. Okay. 
and stats will kind of interlay together with the stadiums and let me go here quickly for you guys okay so this is going to be stadium this is their white paper and uh, people will be able to sell let's say 500 pegas or convert 500 pegas and get a stadium now in a stadium you're gonna race you know you and then the person owner of the stadium gets percentage of the ecosystem revenue based on the amount of races on that stadium on top of that food okay and here is where it gets interesting because when I make videos about stats mattering I get people commenting bro brah stats don't matter you know stadium could have a good lightning stat but your pig is gonna have good lightning and water and water might dec you know make it worse than you know pure pig with seven lightning stupid stuff like that you know and you know whatever they're entitled to opinion i'm entitled to opinion but if you look at the formula here okay speed strength fire water anyway when you get the food okay you could actually you know let's say sacred nectar or you know dragon carrot increases one percent speed and it will reduce one percent strength okay so if you have nine stats across the board that is an amazing pega because if you want to race it on a track that let's say is a water you already have water you don't really need to waste money on food okay the food literally tells you here this is all you know speculations this is just white paper but it tells you that food in, if you use food it increases stats if anything increases stats that means it's better it is here on the white paper so do not come in here tell me that stats don't matter they're just hinting it it's here stats will matter so guys please 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 do your own research you don't even have to listen to this random guy you know yapping it's here everything is pretty much on the white paper you could kind of understand what's going on same with gear you know you buy gear it will increase your strength you know for example and then chest plate will remove one percent speed or fire but increase strength so things like that you get to build your pega towards the certain stadium but if you right away get a pega with good stats you don't have to waste all this extra stuff that you're gonna have to use to buy gear to buy food and all that stuff so we're gonna go back to the market do not just come in and buy a random floor price pega okay don't do that does not help you in any form or way or anything like that okay look for good stats okay look for good career stats look for good win percentage cool guys like I said, I could help you out. Message me on Discord. If you don't want my help, you know, do your own research. Don't go into general chat on Discord. Read what's going on there. Have these people are clueless. The game has so much more to it than just buying Pegas, okay, and racing. There's breeding, there's breeding farms, there's there's a lot of things that happening. There's a lot of things that are going to happen soon, okay? And especially when they introduce, you know, voting with PEG, uh, PGX, and I'm not even going to get into that stuff. Anyway, you guys, if this video gives you some sort of light and idea on what's going on with the game or kind of made you understand some of the things I'm talking about, give me a, a like. Hit that subscribe button it does literally help me with youtube algorithm and i could keep on making this youtube videos for you guys all right so thank you guys for watching tecton here more videos to come i try to release them every two days till then i'll see you next time bye